I got it to work, finally. Other than forgetting to unmute myself just now. Everything went perfectly. For once. It's never that easy. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'll turn up this light a little bit because I'm looking a little dim. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Welcome to Subpixel Live. Uh, we are going to be playing Fire Emblem, Radiant Dawn, and all that good stuff. Um, if you've been following along, this is the fifth part in this series. It's taken me a very long time because I keep dying. I'm sorry. I know I'm not as good at this game as I used to be. You're just going to have to suffer through it with me. But let's get into it right now. All right. Let's switch over. Hey! What's up, John? Or Jehan? Knight? My thing isn't working. Thanks for being here. Alright, so, if you remember what happened last time, we finished the first part. We're on the second part now. Finally. Sorry. Rafa, I forgot it was you. I was like, who is this person? I know this person. It's you, Rafa. Hello. Thank you for watching. Ugh, it's this level. This one's the worst. It's so boring. I believe we saw this last time. Yep. So basically, this is like the country bumpkin characters. They're, uh... I don't know. They're okay. They were in the first game. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yes, everyone turns on us, I know. We're so bad. Because we won't join up with them. I think there's only two of us, yeah. So. Yeah, there's a decent amount of people here. Let's see what happens. No... How do they expect... There's got to be more characters that come in here, because two people is not uh, super great to fight an entire army with. She was terrible in the first game, too. Nefeni, or Nef... Nefeni. Nefeni. I don't know how to pronounce these people. Brom's name is so much easier. It's just Brom. He's a big, strong boy. She's a very weak... I don't want to say weak woman, but she's not super strong. Alright. Okay. Great. I got an herb. And a herb. Gosh, she can't dodge for anything. She's so bad. The least I can do is bring her up here. Can you guys hear everything okay? Everything sounded good? I'm not still muted, am I? I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be still muted. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna visit this door. Oh, thank you. People are fighting. Here's a really good item. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. 
Oh, he's so short. Oh, that guy's really tall. That's what I'm talking about. She's new. I don't remember her. I'll just come down here. Awesome. Great. Oh, she's a thief? Oh. I thought she was a, um, a mage. Alright, I guess I'm going up against these people now. Even though I really don't want to. Huh! That sucks. What do you have? You don't have anything. You're so weak. Gosh dang it, she's like, she's probably gonna die. Yeah, she's gonna die because this guy's gonna hit her next. Ugh, so dumb. Ugh. Alright, well that's a game over. Alright, I just can't, like... I, I hate when they, they give you people you can't rely on. Like, you can't reliably put a character in, into a situation where it's like, yeah, I think they can handle this. It's like, no, they can't really go up against anyone because, you know, Queen. the next turn, uh, you know, they, they lose or they, they die and get hit 50 times. Nephany is definitely one of those characters. Brahm, on the other hand, you know, he can, he can hold his own pretty, pretty well. Right, I'm gonna we're gonna focus on going down actually instead of going up all right well he did one thing or she did one thing right got an herb nice That's interesting. Not sure how I feel about that. All right. Oh. See now, if this guy comes down. No, okay, all right. That could have been real bad. So I wonder what happens. Just bring her. She's still super weak, like really, really, really weak. All right, well, she survived that, so at least, you know, there's that. Okay. Nice. Good. He's doing what I want him to. All right. Good. Oh, come on, you can't hit him again? Yeah. Come on, hit him one more time. What the heck is with this? People can't do two attacks. There we go. She's the one that can do it, of course. It's ridiculous. Great. 
Well, I guess I'm not gonna get a Heather, because she's gonna, like, run away. Or something. Why is she doing this? All right, um, I guess I'll just start closing up the town. Give me that steel axe. Great. <laughs> She's just stealing all sorts of crap. I, I kind of love it. Okay. Raph, are you still watching? That's not good. Don't run away! Oh my gosh. She's gonna die. Asher icon, there we go. Whew. That's dangerous. One single hit can level a house. Guy's ridiculously strong. <laughs> She got a, she's got a bonus to her defense, and she still can't dodge out of the way. That just seems so ridiculous to me. Dun, 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 dun. Hit him again! Oh my gosh. It takes so long. Good, 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 good. That's what I like to hear. Right, I'm gonna heal her up. <sighs> this is just so ridiculous to me sometimes. Like, I don't know. It just, it, it really gets to me. Like, they make it so difficult to start off with new characters. It's like, make it a little bit easier. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give up. I'll try not to. It's just very annoying. There we go. See, like, he's essentially a tank, right? Like, he is meant to be able to take and deal a ton of damage. And he does that. She's supposed to be, um, Nephany is supposed to be, like, a little bit more nimble, a little bit more, um, a, a little bit more, uh, agile and able to, to move about faster, but still deals a really decent amount of damage. But she doesn't always, because she doesn't she doesn't hit twice a lot of the time. She just hits once and then, you know, gets hit. Like that. Like I don't know. She should have decent defense, but she doesn't. And it's just super annoying. So now I gotta bring this guy up here. Great. I'm gonna move both these guys over here here and heal them up. Great. The good thing is, is that their tanks don't move, so... Yeah. And Brom's strong enough that he can dodge pretty much anything anything I need him to. Good, 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 good. Great. Okay, don't have to deal with uh, those guys anymore. Thank God. Hey, level up. Let's see what his defense is. Yep, 21. He's got really good defense. 22 now. So he's he's going to be able to take so many more hits and not have to worry about losing that much damage. 
Whereas, like, I don't know, everyone else is, like, it's it's so middling sometimes. Like, it's just so, oh, I don't know. Like, they could have decent defense and still take a lot of damage. But with certain characters, you just know. Yeah, she's got 15 defense. I feel like that should be way higher. Now, she's not going to have a lot because she's a rogue. But, yeah, just, I don't know. Her bio rhythm's also really bad. Hers is bad. Everyone's is bad! That kind of sucks, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, well, I gotta take care of these guys. So, if I get these guys in position, we'll see what we can do. You know what? I'm not gonna deal with this guy later. I'll deal with him now. Great. Okay. See? See, like, he got hit, but he only took one damage. Now, that could be because, one, his defense is really high, or it could be because the level type of the other enemy that just hit him wasn't high enough to really do that much damage. So, it's a... I, I should check. Like, this guy is a level 5 general, and these guys are just pretty high-level soldiers, 18 and 19. So, against... Um... She should be okay. I don't know. I might bring her in to soften them up, but I don't... I don't know. I just have to defeat the boss. I don't have to actually kill his... friends. So, like... She... It would have really helped if she could have dodged them right there. But... The cool thing is, I can bring her in. Do that. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. Everyone is ready. We'll move him over here. All right. We've got three on two, and I'm going to bring him in first to soften him up. Let's see what happens. Yerdly. His name's Yerdly. It's great stuff. Yeah. Does a decent amount of damage. Of course, he takes a decent amount of damage. I'm just gonna let him be there. Oh, okay. Well, he's gonna go after her. That really sucks. See, I didn't think he was gonna do that. Alright, this is interesting. I'm gonna bring her over here. Um. Guess we're gonna play the trading game. This is dangerous. Yes! Great job, Brum. Thank you. It's exactly what I needed. We won! Great! And he leveled up again. I didn't use you at all in the first game. I'll sure as hell use you now. Nice. The youth! <laughs> Gotta put my AC on. It's a little, getting a little hot and heavy in here. Not in that way. I mean, if you want, that could be a different kind of stream. Let me know in the comments. Alright. My leg! My leg hurts so bad! Oh my gosh, she's like ready to destroy this guy. Hmm. <laughs> Great, so they're gonna leave. Just hang out on the farms, guys. We'll be back. We're going to war. Yay, we won the first level. Thanks for getting me through that, Rafa. I don't know if I could have could have done it without your support. Crimean town, 
A band of rebels sow the seeds of discontent. They are stopped by Brahm and Nephany, two former Crimean soldiers. However, more uprisings are sure to follow. Brahm and Nephany decide to travel to Melior, the capital of Crimea, and inform Queen Elincia as to the gravity of the situation. Just gotta fix something real quick. Give me a second. My camera image is being a little funky for some reason. Got to go into the advanced settings. No, nope, that doesn't help the flicker at all. It's just the white balance is a little hefty. That's pretty good. And it's like really overly saturated for some reason. I don't know why. All right, that should be a little bit better. Yep. Okay. Very sorry your village was affected by this. You may have my insincere apologies. Oh, Joffrey and Lucia. Look at all these happy people. This game has really good music. I love the music in this game. It's so good. So many catchy themes. Great. See, he's the headstrong uh, right hand of Queen Alincia, and then his sister Lucia is her soft but still powerful uh, left left hand. All right, I don't even know who we have. I guess it's just these guys. We gotta level. We got gotta level her up. She's she's way too underpowered at this point. Just gonna work on that defense, man. Guess we'll level up one more. Why not at this point? Once again, her defense didn't go up at all. That, like, really bothers me when it does that. Hello, Heather. He needs a kick in the ring. Great. Lagoos. Oh, he's the cat people. The lion people. They're very powerful. Very cool. They were, um, actually, I don't think their looks have changed at all since the first game. Everyone else got at least, like, a partial upgrade. Uh, I guess Lucia kind of looks the same, too. Aw, she's still here. It is, um, I forgot who that is. It's Rayson's sister. Needle and thread. I'm gonna start sewing. Ooh, I don't know what that does, but it did something. You can't stop me, Joffrey. It's just giving me all the good stuff. Let's see what we have. What's this talisman do? Increases resistance by two. Should probably give that to. Uh, your resistance, your resistance is awful. I'm gonna give it to you. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's 
slightly more resistant, but still not much. Yeah, I guess we're okay. We need some vulneries. But I guess we don't have any. You don't need both. I can at least give you that. And we shall save. All right. Castle Felray. Felray. <laughs> this guy, this guy's definitely a bad guy. You can just tell by his look. Got a heavy set brow, slick back hair, white armor. Yeah. Definitely a bad guy. He's coming on to my girl Lucia too much. Just gotta stop that dude. Oh, in a secret cave. I don't remember playing this mission before. Why would they why would they leave a document in a cave? Somebody answer me that. If you've played this before, let me know. If there's no war, we are happy, but if there's war, Ludwig is poor prey, hides behind a shield of words. Yeah. And misogyny too. I mean come on. Is it Nalucci? Yeah, it's Nalucci. Man, Nalucci's awesome. He's got a weird shaped head, but he's great. Not that I could talk. My head looks freaking massive. Let's go! Come on. Ah, oh, it's this fog of war crap. Gotta go all the way over here. These are torches I have to turn on. Or can turn on. Oh! That's not good. Whoops. <laughs> didn't, didn't necessarily mean to do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll put them up here. Burn! Alright. I think that's about as good as we're going to get right now. Yeah. Really glad I put that wall of people right there. Good. See, she's like, did what she was supposed to. She took the attack, dodged it, and hit back. That's fine. That's what you're meant to do. It's when she doesn't do that, and doesn't do it consistently, that I get really angry. <laughs> I don't know. It just really bugs me. So, oh, they've got venom, axes, and arrows. It's so annoying. So she's a swordmaster. I'm not worried about her. She can handle her... Uh, her enemies just fine. What I am worried about uh, Let's see what you do here. Can you hit him again? No. You cannot, because you are not the best person ever. Oh, oh, that's so bad. She, she did one damage. All right, Lucy is great. All right, we're good. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Nice. She finally did something. So proud of you. Could have been rough. That was rough. Great. Now both of them are poisoned. Great. This is all good. Da -da -da -da. Youch. Ouch. 
This is why I love these people. They're so good. So now she should be, if not healed fully, no, so she's not. I thought for a minute that um, the blessing that she offers to the people around her would, would mean that they wouldn't be poisoned anymore. But apparently it doesn't. Great. Okay. Great. All right. Let's get going. Lucy is solid. She's not easy to beat. Dun, 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 dun. Ow. Ow. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, um, let's bring Mordecai down here, I guess. Let's see what we're up against. Bonk! Stupid. It's ever a giant cat, don't hit them with a stick. Okay, so he's, I'm guessing the... I'm guessing the thing I need to do is down here, or up here. I would assume down here, because there's this is rock down here. But there's probably something cool down here as far as items go. So, we shall make the trip. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Ouch. That hurt. That didn't. Oh, so close to die. Uh, this is bad. I thought they would have had longer. Oh, this is not good. Oh wait, she's got a freaking stone I can just use. Wish I'd known that before. All right, we're f we're fine. That's really not good. I shouldn't have done that. All right. Okay. I didn't think that guy had a longbow. Good job. Just mowed down people like they're pieces of paper. Oof. That's not cool. Oh my god, there's three people here. Dang. Is 
So I think what I might do... Just go, Lucio. You, you murder those people. Right, here's what I think I'm going to do. I am going... Once all my people stop taking so much damage. I'm going to bring them up here. And I'm also going to shift him. Alright. That way they're blocked off. I can heal Brom. He's good. He doesn't have any... Man, she still took, like, a crap ton of damage. I guess I just gotta heal people. Oof. Dang. Lucia can't die. <laughs> she, she, need, she needs to not die. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, they did what I thought they were gonna do, which is get pincered in behind Brom. That's... Okay, good. I'm fine. I am fine with all of that. I'm going to... There's still one left. It's like insane to me. Okay. Great. So he could transform now. So I wonder if. Great. Good. So I don't want her to get hit either. Great. I'm bring her back over here. I'm gonna heal up Lucia. Great. Alright, so he's gotta be down here, the boss. We shall see what happens next. Poor Mordecai, man. He's just taking a beating. Whew. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Wow. That could have been really bad. Oh, good lord. Thank god she has a... Uh, elixir. Whew! That was very close to being very, very bad. Good. Yes, she attacked twice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Let's hope Nelucci uh, can, like, withstand... This little tiny guy over here. Bonk. It's not how you do that, dude. Okay. I think we are all good. I'll bring Brom down here just because. Yep. Great. I'm gonna have him... Actually, I'm gonna have... Her burn that. You can come over here and shift. Oh, well, that was almost bad. That was almost very bad. So they're not down here, they're up top, which I did not think was what they were, where they were going. Oh well. 
Great. Don't have to deal with him anymore. Tip top. Yep, there he is. Oh, he's a wind mage? Wind sage. So fancy. Okay, yeah, he should be able to take on this guy. Good. Come on, attack him twice, dude. Do your job. Not, not, not super effective <laughs> against armor, I guess. Alright, let's get this done. Great. Good. I am happy. I guess this is how we'll do it. Ugh. It did nothing. Okay. All right. I will trap him back here, and I will demolish you with my silver sword. Yeah, that's what happens when you go up against Lucian. Well, that was good. A little dicey at the beginning, but once I figured out what they were doing, I think I figured I could make it without dying on the first try. It's always nice. I hate those poison axes, though. They're the worst. Okay. Oh, no, rebellion. Yes, you are doing the right thing, I promise. It's all good. I like this guy's helmet. It's a crick of bull horns or something like that. It's pretty sweet. Sorry, give me one second, guys. Okay. Don't they track down the rumors? I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh. Oh, she speaks. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. It's a little dusty in this room. I need to. I like. Oh. Nice song. <laughs> Great. Insurrection erupts across Crimea. The wounds Crimea suffered during the conflict with Dayan have finally begun to heal, and it should be rejoicing in its hard-won peace. How is it that the fires of rebellion have been lit? Bastion, Queen Alincia's most trusted advisor, 
widely acknowledged for his political savvy, is on a mission to Dane. And the Grail mercenaries, the original authors of Crimea's recovery, are nowhere to be found. Queen Alincia, close to despair, has nonetheless ordered the Crimean royal knights to restore order in Feleray. Her only wish is to win the coming battle so that she may stave off a civil war. Not another civil war. What do we got here? Oof, 20,000. Could buy so much with that. Uh, I mean, I guess these guys are okay. Decent. See, one thing doesn't track with this game. Astrid died in my first playthrough. So, she, um, she should not be here. Great. Wait, who got what? I seriously need to buy stuff, <laughs> like the vulneries for people. He's already got one, she needs one. He's got one, and he needs one. Okay. So... This is really interesting. So he can't even use it. He can, however, use this. No? He can use this. Please tell me I'm not crazy. Trade some stuff around. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Stop it. All right. Now we're good. Now we're good. I think, I think we're ready. Great. All right. Let's go. Ugh. The gates of Castle Crimea. Ludwig. Oof. So many freaking people. Also, I'm pretty sure Danvids shouldn't be here either. He's like... Kind of racist character. <laughs> like, the character himself is not racist. The character's creation is kind of racist. Maybe not racist is the wrong word. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Problematic. That's everything. Let's just stick you in here like crazy.
Dang, dude. Strong as heck. Really? You couldn't, like, I don't know, actually do something useful? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I should have given him something better than still sword. Whoops. Sorry about that. Oh, what the heck. I'm gonna bring him up to the center. Nice. Send all these people up to mop up my mess. See, these guys aren't useless like they were in the last game. The computer actually is able to do stuff and make make uh, choices with decent characters or decent level uh, NPCs. What the heck was that? See that bird? It's kind of weird. Youch. Should have this in the bag. I see why now they uh, had so many options for uh, horse. Slayer stuff. Great. Can attack twice. It's BS one. Great. 
just takes so long. Like, there's so many characters on the map at one time. It just takes forever to move everyone. One by one by one by one by one. That's Fire Emblem, though. I think there's a way... You used to be able to just skip in the GBA games. You could just entirely skip the... <laughs> you got a critical hit that didn't do any damage. That's unfortunate. Come at me! Yeah. I don't know if, if I would go up against an enemy with a weapon specifically uh, opposed to who I am as a person. Yes, I'm on a horse. It is what I've been trained to do for my entire life. What's this weapon this person has? It's called a horse killer? I'll be fine. I'll be totally fine. Four in a row, one hit kills. Maybe, maybe don't don't do that anymore. Do you see four of your friends go down in one hit? Don't go after that person anymore. Give him a wide berth. Oh boy. Okay. Once again. You're useless. You're so weak. I kind of forgot that enemy was there. <laughs> Might have gone after them if I'd realized he was still there. Everybody good? We're all copacetic? Beautiful. I'd be worried. <laughs> like, if I was the general of this uh, army or the uh, people being sieged, I'd be worried. I'd be like, they're kind of just blowing through my entire line of defense very easily. <laughs> like, what's going on with these guys? Thanks, Ian. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm trying to. So one thing I love about the computer in this game is that you can so easily tell what they're going to do. They go after a person. If they get hit the next round, they immediately go back and do like a vulnerate every heal. It's like they don't have any they don't have any staying power. They just immediately are like, nope, I'm done. I gotta go heal up. I can't attack if I'm not a hundred percent. Which is always just funny to me how predictable it is. Oh, I forgot that was there. I don't think it does too much damage. Yeah, it only does 
a couple points. It should be good. See, he's gonna hurt his own people. No? I guess not. I guess it's just directly across from it. That's so funny. See, but I'd rather let the computer take those hits than me. Because I think those uh, launchers only have five shots each. Yeah. It's fine. Alright, so... I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna let them deal with that on their own. I'm coming around on this side. I'll take this little splinter group over here and try and do some damage. I'll get a coin. I'm rich now. Alright, let's see what the computer does. It's actually going after people, which I guess is pretty good. Nice. Now they can push more horses through, which is always good. Da, 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 da. Not sure I would have done it that way, but okay. You guys can do whatever you want. Good job, Kiernan. Or Kieran? Kieran? I get it confused with Kieran and Sherpka, who's on Mad Men and Sabrina. And she's great. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we do now. Man, these crossbows are ridiculous. One more. Oh. See, now I have to... <laughs> this is so ridiculous. That's not good. I gotta send him over here. Can I shove him? That really sucks. Right, I gotta send him over here because he has the horse slayer thing. That kind of sucks, obviously. Alright. See what happens here. Just need you to get a crit. Ah, uh, worth a shot. Nice. So now I think I can send Astrid up. Finish it off. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, this guy's ridiculous. All right, let's see what happens. Ugh. Hit him again. I'm gonna send a whole other... See what I mean? Like, they, they're like, oh, I have to go heal. Instead of just throwing more bodies at the problem, they're like, no, no, no. We're, g we're individually gonna move. 
so that we aren't as effective as we could be as a whole group of people. It's kind of ridiculous to me. Oh, that could have gone better. Just interested to see what these catapults do. That's gonna hurt a lot of people. Four people, jeez. Is gonna happen. Da, na, 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 na. I just don't know why you would put. Why would you put a horse archer in front of a knight? Or in any position on the front lines? Like, you want them to be behind someone. Kind of, kind of dumb on their part. All right, well, <laughs> guess I'm just gonna lay into these guys. <laughs> There's nothing for it at this point. I'll take care of this knight here first. Good job. Finally, that's what I'm talking about. So much for having a killer axe. Oof. All right, let's see what the computer does. Hey, you finally killed someone, wow. It's been, like, so long. See what I'm talking about? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I would have sacrificed that guy, but maybe that's why I'm not a computer. I don't know why they're... they're I don't understand what the computer is doing. I mean, I can force it to do stuff. I can tell it go here or target this person. I just don't like doing that because they all do that. You can't individually tell each person, you know, I want you to follow these uh, roles. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, ouch. Oh my gosh, that actually really hurt. The good thing is, these catapults should only have two more shots each, I think. I think they, they all get th uh, five. That wasn't good. See, and, like, the computer knew, it should have known, that the enemy had a direct line to my most important NPCs, which are the healers. So now they're all going to die. And it's stupid that it, it puts them in positions like that. It's just really annoying. I mean, yeah. This is actually doing pretty good for a priest. That's impressive. I should hire this guy. He dodges more than some of my def high defense characters do, which is impressive. All right, this is getting to the point where it's ridiculous. I'm just gonna they can die. I don't care. The, the computer characters can die. I don't care at this point. I just need to send Joffrey to actually do his job.
Let's see if I can hit this guy. Hit him again! Yes! Okay, one catapult down. And he leveled up. Oh my word. Why? You have a much better chance if you're up against the person directly rather than indirectly. Why don't you? You could have. It's no point arguing with the computer. It just makes me really frustrated that it doesn't know better. It's like Intelligent Systems, the developer behind this game, it's like they made the ally computer way stupider than the enemy computer, and that's just super annoying. Good job. Okay. He seems pretty weak for having so much armor. I don't know. I don't remember him being that weak. I don't know. What do I know anymore? It's like a 10 year old game at this point. Okay. Crazy thing is, Jeffrey can uh, Joffrey can take on these people no problem. That is not an issue for him at all. Great. Jeez. Why wouldn't you hit him again? He's an archer. He can't attack you. It's so ridiculous. Also, why wouldn't you go after the enemies who are already down on HP? I really don't understand. So stupid. I can't believe he's dodging this much. It's incredible to me. If he dodges this, wow. That's absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. Literally on his last breath, still killing people. What a hero. And dodging people. This guy's crazy. This is ridiculous. This is terrain uh, defense at its finest. Dun. What the heck is that one guy doing? I don't get it. This guy's incredible. Amazing. No more giant rocks, please. Just attack him again. 
why is it so difficult? Why couldn't you have done that like two turns ago? There's still one remaining. Let's see how this works. I guess she can't use that. That kind of sucks. She still killed someone. That's all that matters. That was weird. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's amazing. And he finally died. Thank you for your service. NPC number Good, good, good. Push down. Good. All right, let's go. Wait, who haven't I moved? Oh, I realize I got to move again. I'll just move you up here. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. Ouch. One hit. Tony, ma'am, don't go after a person with a weapon that is the thing you're riding on that is highly effective against. My thing is, why and how are there so many of these horse reinforcements coming in? It seems absolutely insane, the number that just keeps coming. Hey, what's up there, Natsu Dragonal? How you doing? Hello there. I hope that was a Star Wars reference. Thank you, stranger. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. You ever play Fire Emblem before? Or are you just dropping into the subpixel stream for fun? Good. I like to I like to hear Star Wars references in my streams. It always just make me happy. Nice. Okay, so quick admission. I played, like, all the GBA games when I was younger. Like, I even got one that was... My friend got it from Japan. I think it wasn't released here. It was called, like, Black Dragon or Shadow Dragon or something like that. Played it, loved it. It was great. I've never played any of the DS games or any of the new, um, like, the, the Fire Emblem Three Houses stuff. I never played all of them, or any of them, really. It's been pretty much the console games and the GBA games, so... Brought your boy just to play Binding. Yeah, yep. Yeah, stuff like that. The The classic ones are always my favorite, but I really like the console ones. I had a GameCube growing up, and this was... Path of Radiance was the one that I, I always went and played. 
Um, just because, I don't know, I, I like Ike too much as a character, and I just enjoy playing him on my TV. But, yeah, Ike is, he's the best. He's such a cool character, and um, him and, like, just all the all the Grell mercenaries, like, um, Soren. I, like, I, always, I always leveled up Ike, obviously, but then Soren was, like, my number two. Good to hear I'm not alone in thinking that. What's your favorite um, Fire Emblem game that you, you played? Like, what's the one you like the most? what I want to do here. I guess it just... That works. Radiant Dawn? Yeah. It's it's super solid. I haven't played it since... I think it came out 2007? 2006 or something like that? Um, it's been a while since I played it, but I am really falling back in love with it. It's the, the one... I complain a lot when I'm playing this game because I'm not... Uh, as good as I used to be, um, but like the, it it feels like to me at least, just playing on normal difficulty, that the game starts you off with characters at like way lower levels, or at least way better or way lower stats than it did in Path of Radiance. Like Path of Radiance felt like, like you were on even footing on each level. Like if you were outsmarted, you were outsmarted because you were you weren't paying attention, but if you were you know, playing well enough, you could you could really demolish people and um, put down for years and become yeah yep exactly yeah I definitely it's been several years since I played an FE game and I definitely feel like there's a lot of catching up to do but I'm remembering a lot of stuff too um, like the the bio rhythms and everything I forgot that that was a thing until I looked it up but yeah I'm gonna take your advice and I'm gonna kill them all. Oh, he missed. Can't believe he missed. That's all that counts. He got him in one hit. <laughs> but yeah, um, it just feels like Radiant Dawn has a way higher... Um, I don't know what the word is for it, but like it, it just feels like it's harder. Like the, the enemies are a lot stronger. And it feels like the, the characters that you start off with are, at least at the very, very beginning with the Dawn Brigade and stuff, um, they're just so underpowered, like really underpowered. Never use the Jagan, always use the weaker units first. Jagan, Jagan, what is that? It's kind of good. Let's use the weaker units first. What do you mean the the Jagan? 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 Oh, okay. You mean like someone who is stronger than the other units? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I always, um, like, Jeffrey, like, obviously in this map, Jeffrey is, like, the strongest. He hasn't gotten hit once the entire time. So I've been trying to send all my other units, like Kieran and Astrid and, um, uh, what's his name, this guy? Danvid and Makalov. Like, I sent these guys all the way up here and killed all the guys up here, and now I'm bringing them back down, so. For Radiant Dawn, it was, yeah. Yeah, Titania and was, like, so OP and... Actually, she was she was OP up to a point, because after a certain point, if you leveled up everyone else around him or around her, like um, George or whatever, like they would get further along than than she did, and uh, like you could only level her up so much, and she stopped becoming as effective. But she was really really strong. So Jeffrey finally leveled up. Yeah. All right. Cool. I didn't know there was even a term for, for that, which is awesome. 
Am I saying it right? Is it like Jagan or Jagan? I don't know. I feel stupid for not knowing that. I'm gonna look up all the FE terminology. Alright, let's bring everyone back up. Jogging. Jogging. Okay, great. Does that come from somewhere, or is that just like a community term that was made up? Or is that like in the, um, I don't know, is it like from FE? Like from like a, a handbook or something, or is it something the community made up? The other way? Jake, jogging. 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 I need you to come on stream so that you can teach me how to say these vocab words. There'll be a test. I'll have a vocab quiz next week. It'll be good stuff. It's Marth's night. Okay. Man, this guy just doesn't want to die. I see now the question is, should I send up someone to kill this uh, lone... Uh, priest. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. I'll send Kiernan up. It's poor priest. Ouch. Playable character in Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and Blade of Light. Fire Emblem, Mystery of Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon. Being a veteran knight of Monteo Dragon. See, I played Shadow Dragon, like, probably f f 12 years ago, 15 years ago. This has been a really long time. Being a veteran knight of Altea. This is my advisor. He's one of the people Marx turns to for guidance. For some reason, I don't remember that. I'm just... It's called an archetype. pre motor unit. Okay. Oh, see, there are two other people that come. This is so stupid. Alright, I'm just gonna let them come down here. Of how he basically called for reinforcements and two people showed up. It's pretty bad. There we go. Let's try this again. I really want Astra to get a crit on one of these hits. <laughs> She's so weak. There we go. Pre-motored unit. I'm just gonna let Jeffrey kill this guy because he... I think he can only have one person on him at a time. It doesn't really make sense to have anyone else there. Great. Oof, man. That could have been real bad. There we go. Yay! I won. And none of the core people died. All of my army died, but none of the important people died. And Jeffrey leveled up again. Oh, I'm gonna give that to... Zyhark or something. Perfect. Seize the victory. Alright. That was a really long level. There's just so many people. Oh. No sign of Night Wranglers. Yeah, because they went to go attack Alencia instead.
Hey, it's her. Love her. You said Ike was like your favorite Fire Emblem character. If you're still watching, I hope you're still watching. Um, uh, what's like your second favorite character in in the Fire Emblem? He really is. I love him. He's so sarcastic in the first one, and he's just like, "Oh, I'm gonna go take a nap because I don't feel like fighting." But he's also really strong. Okay, you're here. Good. I might play for a bit longer. I was gonna make that be the last lesson or uh, the last uh, not lesson the last level but i guess i can do this one yeah har is um she's she's great or he is great lucia is also great although she's really bad in the first game she's like so underpowered and they introduce her uh and bastion and uh that whole group of people so late into the game it's ludvik yeah, he really is a mood. He's great. That I would... I guess I would probably most align my sensibilities and my personality with horror. Um, even though, you know, I would love to be Ike or something like that. Yeah, his whole relationship with, um, like, Jill in the first game and, and her father. And it's just a... It's pretty cool. The Burger Knight? Why the Burger Knight? Does he like, is like have it your way or I don't know, something to do with Burger King? Having anticipated Queen Alincia's oh. attack, the majority of Duke Ludvek's forces left Felleray. The troops stationed at Castle Felleray were merely the bait with which to That's lure hilarious. Joffrey and his troops away from Is that why he's called the Burger Knight now? In Joffrey's absence, Ludvek's objective is nothing less than to take the royal palace. Someone needs to take the, um, I don't know how old you are, but do you remember, like, the Burger King commercials with the the actual Burger King? Like, he would run around and, like, do crap. It was like he had, like, the mask on and everything. They should put that mask on the Black Knight. That would be a fun mod. I'd buy that game. Mix of horror and Rolf. I love Rolf. He's so great. He's... <laughs> he's so weak in the first game. Obviously, if you level him up, he's all right. Um, but Rolf is great. End game. All right, yeah, we'll just... I'll, since this is the last uh, level uh, on this section, I'll just do this and we'll... You hear that Tellius games might be... Really? I didn't hear that. Do you know who... Is that coming from, like, something official? Is that, like, a Nintendo leak or something? That would be really awesome if they if they did that. I mean, I'm happy that... I, I'm using the um, Dolphin emulator to play this on my PC with, <laughs> with a 360 controller. <laughs> so it's on PC, a GameCube and Wii game with a 360 controller. Specialization of the fan... Speculation of the fan... Okay. I hope it's true, because that would be... Like, this game with HD graphics and more cutscenes, like, better cutscenes, um, I would I would love that so much. What sort of sign... Like, what's... Can you, like, send me a link or something? Like, put a link in the description. I'll go back and look at it. Or, like, is there, like, a YouTube video on it? I'm super interested. Lucia got captured. Oh, no. Oh, no, Lucci. You old, old man. Still kicks butt, though. Also, I've said this before. I think I've said this a couple times um, before you got here, but, like, I really like the music in these games. It's just very... You know, it fits the scenes really well. Big fan. I find it, like myself, humming a lot of them. But all right, let's get some get some XP going here.
Sweet. My, my most important stat to me is defense. <laughs> I want my characters to be able to take a lot of damage. And I get, I get really upset when you level up and the game just decides, you know what? We're not going to give any stats boosts at all. It's just going to be a bunch of zeros. That just pisses me off so much when it does that. Alright, let's see what we got. She really should equip this. I need to get some vulneries, I think. Yeah, and some lances. Yeah, I just need... I need more of everything. Okay, that's not super great. Who has this? This is very strange. What an interesting hypothesis. Deleted by a moderator. Oof, dang it. Oh, did it not? Did the mod do something? All right, hold on. Uh, can you, um... Just whisper it to me? I wonder if this is gonna let me... Hold on, give me a second. Okay, just send me a whisper to, uh, um, just click on where it says Subpixel Team in the chat, and it should give you, it should give you a thing to whisper to. Or you can just do, I think it's slash W, or W slash, and then the username or something like that. You should be able to, like, right-click my name or click my name and just hit whisper. Maybe it doesn't work. Let's see if I can do it on my phone, because when I try to do it on Twitch and stream at the same time, it's sort of funky. Um, put another comment down. So I can see it on my phone. There we go. All right, you should have a little chat thing that came up. That'll just send it to, that's from my personal uh, account. Kyle of the Beard, should say. Let me know if you don't see it for some reason. I'll just add you as a friend if that, no? Twitch does not like me tonight. I don't understand. <laughs> Needs to sell some stuff. There you go. Okay, I got it. That works. Perfect. Yeah, sorry for the trouble. I don't know why the whisper feature isn't working. I know there's a way to do it in chat. You can, like, force the chat to only send uh, a whisper to... It's like... Whisper Twitch... Um, command, I guess? It's like slash... It's like slash W or something. And then you type out the person's... Uh, Username and it sends you into the 
I don't know. Google it. <laughs> I forget how to do it myself. I need to buy more vulnerabilities because I realized I didn't have any. She really needs one. Har needs one more than she does, so I'm just gonna sell some more stuff. I really should just sell all of the herbs. See? This is the super uh, interesting stuff. <laughs> Buying stuff at stores. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and see what we can do about... She, she really desperately needs a knife. There we go. Brom desperately needs... an axe. She needs a lance. Might as well give her a vulnerary. She's okay. He's okay. He needs that lance. Okay. I think we're all right. Khalil. I know. Great. So she's here now. That's great. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. And um, yeah, I'll check out that video. Um, yeah, I'll just click the link next time when I'm done because I'm definitely interested in a remake. Could this happen? You scum. Give your motivational speech, Alencia. Let's get to work. Just have to survive until uh, Ike gets here. I think, right? You just have to survive like three uh, or a couple rounds or something like that. To reposition some of these guys. <laughs> Why would. Never mind. This is really dumb. Why would we put the two, like, vulnerable people down here where they could be hit? Oh, so many people. Okay, so I just have to either defeat the boss. Or survive for 15 rounds. Is it not letting you comment anymore? Oh, it timed you out for 600 seconds? That's super stupid. I didn't realize our auto mod was like that severe. That's really. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> Well, I will have... That's so stupid. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean for you to be timed out. Bad auto mod. Shame on you.
Nice. No one the other way around, but like the enemy has those long distance magic attacks, but not today. I know, I just, I'm just more surprised than angry. I think we can, like, customize it, though. We should be able to customize it so that um, it's maybe not quite as severe. I think it's, I mean, it's super useful if you have, like, a couple hundred people on a stream that are, you know, all trying to comment. And you're just trying to filter out, you know, bots and spammers and stuff like that. But, I mean, I, we've got three people watching, so I, I doubt we're going to get too many of those uh, types of people. Plus, you're cool, so you actually know stuff about the game that's being played, which is great. Makes me really happy. Come on, Harm. I don't know why she's here. She's super weak. I guess I might just... Mm. I'm trying to figure out what to do with... If I should just let the, uh, the computer take care of people first. Also, if you can tell, the uh, emulator doesn't necessarily like big magical explosions, and it really slows down the stream sometimes. I don't know why, because I've got a decent CPU, and if my PC setup is, like, okay. It just doesn't like certain, uh, certain attacks. the smallest dreams to boost the top I am. Well, I, I appreciate that, because we need all the help we can get. We just got affiliate not too long ago, and we're really proud of that, but I think we stream um, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays pretty pretty regularly, and we've got a bunch of other streams coming up soon. We've got the Spooky Pixel, which is like when Subpixel gets together and we play like scary games, and uh, we've got a couple other uh, cool things we're doing for... Um, uh, a bunch of charity streams. Got, got a bunch of good stuff coming up. And we do uh, documentaries on the side as well. Not so much because of COVID recently, but uh, we, we, we've we done some docs on some indie dev studios. Uh, we did a doc on a game jam in Iceland, which is really cool. If you just go to YouTube and search Subpixel, we should be like the first channel that comes up. And check us out if any of that sort of stuff interests you. That's my pitch. They're all going to the right. I know, right? That door just took a beating. Also, you're back! <laughs> I'm sure people have done it, but like... How do you kill the boss on this level? He's like so surrounded by waves and waves of people. I just don't know. I guess you could fly Alincia up? Like fly her through stuff? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how you would do that. It's Christmas. You need a strong magic user. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many generals and, and knights and stuff like that. It's ridiculous. And they give us, like, so few to work with, which is just so not fair. I'm just gonna go put her 
over here. I don't know what else to do with it. to see. Nice. Yellow units are better than green units. Really? Like they're stronger or they're What do you what do you mean by that? Cuz you can like direct them. They have extra AI yeah, that's yeah. See, I never knew that. I didn't know that the the systems work that differently. something I don't I, I complain about that too is you have pretty high level characters like Har and they only attack once like why don't they attack twice green units are fully botted okay yellow can have some control yeah yeah I know that um like if you go to Alinthia's menu it's like, hey, I want to direct you to do whatever. I like having them roam for the most part, unless I'm really trying to, like, you know, like, say, like, don't go past this, like, here or something like that. But I can't even get past that. It's great. Some is better than all green units in total. Yeah, it's true. Use the lions to tear through. Yeah. I'm just worried that if I use Lethe, um, she's gonna. I'm gonna have to use the stone again. And she might get hit in between. You know what? I'll just bring him down. It's just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just. Uh, Alright. Mordecai is the best bet to use. Yeah. Yeah, he's consistently so, so strong. Even in the first game. Nice. <laughs> Did you see the stream strode slow down a little bit? Crit for days. Yeah. It's just the emulation doesn't I have it cranked pretty high, so it actually looks pretty good. Um, it just takes a big toll on some of the the bigger uh, attack animations. I hate those crossbows, man. So ridiculously powerful sometimes. Dang. 350 tokens. You mean like on Twitch? No, you don't. What did you do? Oh, did you buy. You bought our little, uh. Emoji stuff. Thank you. I'm honored. I'm honored you would spend them on me. We appreciate it. There we go. 
always buy the emojis first. It's probably a good bet. I don't buy that many... I don't really buy subs that much on Twitch. Um, but yeah, emojis and emoji packs and, and like channel-specific stuff like that is always a ton of fun. I think the um, the one the one Twitch the one Twitch channel I bought stuff for consistently was um, Brux Bruxel or whoever the New Zealand guy is who does the wood carvings. He's great. Um, I love watching his stuff, and it's always always so fun to to watch. Yeah, it is. I'm just gonna send her down here to see what she can do. Nice. Yeah, man. I, I mean, this is this is part. I know double cancel. So, it's like absolutely pointless. Um, but this is uh, this is the first time I've had someone actively talking to me about the game that I'm playing, rather than just like friends dropping in on a stream for Fire Emblem. Because it's the fifth one that I've done so far, and it's just um, it's so much more fun knowing that you know you can you can talk with commenters at the same time, and especially people who know. Uh, the game that you're playing. It's always, always lots of fun. Let's see, who can I kill? I'll go after... Eh. Whatever. Of course, my last one, and he's able to dodge it. Oh well. No, for sure. I appreciate it, man. It's also just nice knowing that I'm not, like, doing this and having no one watch it. At, you know, if, if at least a couple people drop by, it's always always worth it to me. And it's nice to even to be able to see the little viewer ticker climb up. SMT are my go-to franchise for games to play when I'm bored. Yeah. Yeah. I need to pick up a like a old Game Boy SP or Game Boy Advance and play some of these handheld games again. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, we um, all my Fire Emblem streams happen on Wednesdays, so it's just one a week. Um, but Will and Ian, who are two of the other guys in Subpixel, uh, there's four of us in total. They stream on Tuesday, Thursdays, and sometimes Saturdays, so they're always on playing different stuff got a bunch of different shows that we do so yeah if you're ever ever around and interested and just want to drop by we all really appreciate it you're just having a good time you know? sometimes i complain about stuff too much when i when when things aren't going my way but try to keep that from happening too often oh man I gotta put Brom in that corner. Oh, come on. <laughs> An axe on fur is not strong enough to break the, his defense. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Thanks for dropping by. Um, I'll be on next Wednesday, and, and we've got a couple other shows coming up this week, so if you ever want to drop by, just come on in and uh, be happy to see you. Thanks again for watching, though. I really appreciate it. It was good talking to you. And I'll check out that link that you sent, too. Oh. And, of course, Lethe just died, so whatever. I'll probably end up restarting. Oh, yeah, our Discord's there, too, if you want to drop it. Well, I have to restart anyway. Actually, maybe that's where I'll end it. I'll just redo this next week. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, have a good night, man. I think I actually am going to wind it down now, though. 
Oh, okay, got that. Put this back on. Oh man. All right. Hey everyone, thank you so much for dropping by. Um, Nats, really appreciate your comments and the links that you sent. Had a good time talking with you and uh, playing around with some Fire Emblem. Hopefully, we'll beat that level next next week. Uh, if not, I may start it and uh, like we'll finish the actual ending um, when I start up next week, just so that it doesn't take another hour. Anyway. You guys have been watching Subpixel Live. I'm Kyle. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff that comes up every week on our Twitch, on our YouTube channel. Uh, Jake just released a really awesome video all about Alien Isolation and the history uh, behind the game, what lengths the developers went to to create just the authentic uh, sound and feel and look of uh, Alien inside of a video game. Really awesome stuff. Super in-depth video take a look at it on our youtube page you can go uh, on youtube and search subpixel or you can go to subpixelfilms.com it'll take you right there um, we also have streams on tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays and this week on the 10th we have spooky pixel uh, i think it's episode two or episode three we just get together and play a bunch of scary games so be sure to come in for that and yeah you can find me at kyle of the beard on twitter and instagram and you can follow all of our subpixel pages on social media at subpixel team thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys possibly on saturday but definitely next wednesday here at nine o'clock all right i'll see you guys next week bye